Hey guys, welcome back to Allura Dev Pills. Kush here, and today we're going to be going over end to end how to download, create, and deploy your model to the Allura Forge model competition. The Allura Forge is a model competition we started for the community to seed and source out the best model makers for a specific set of topics. Quick refresher on topics before we move forward. Topics are essentially how the network categorizes different predictions into shelling points via a target variable and a loss function. So if I wanted to predict Ethereum's five minute price prediction, that would be one topic. If I were to change the target variable to Bitcoin, that would be a separate topic. If I were to change the time frame on which models submit predictions from five minutes to one hour, that would also be a separate topic. Finally, if I wanted to change the financial indicator from price to volatility or volume, that would also comprise a separate topic. These are the ways we categorize different inferences so that workers know where to submit their predictions to for their specific model. And for all my mathematicians out there, the last thing to consider when submitting inferences is the loss function that's being used in a topic. For all of the topics in Forge, we're using mean squared error which is calculating how well your prediction is compared to the ground truth. All right, so let's dive right into it. Since this is an end-to-end -end tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a wallet, get the wallet address, and then register for Forge uh, before we dive into more complex tasks like creating your model, backtesting it, and fetching the correct data. So first things first, you wanna open up your terminal right here and copy over the CURL command to get Allura D on your system. Now that you have Allura D, let's go ahead and create a wallet. I'll name this one Forge Wallet. And now we have a wallet. So definitely save all of this because you're gonna need it multiple times throughout this process when registering and deploying your model. I'll save this to a text edit. And boom, now that we have that information, let's go ahead and register for the competition on the sign up page. I'll enter my nickname, Kush Wave. All right, so here's where you wanna go back to your text edit file, get your Allura wallet address and copy that over. Cool. Now I'll enter my email. And I highly recommend you enter your Discord handle because we'll add you to an exclusive group once you're verified for Forge, where all of our model makers and myself included, along with the rest of the team, will be answering questions in priority in that channel. So highly recommended, but not necessary. Now we'll press OK here. Put in your ha hugging face, Kaggle, GitHub profile so that you have a higher chance to be accepted to the program. We really want to find people who are interested in model making. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and submit this. All right, so now that we've gone through the registration flow, I'm going to show you guys how to create a model for price, volume, and volatility, which are the three main topics and sub-competitions that you could enter into in the Forge. So before we deploy our node, we're gonna to have to get some tokens from the testnet faucet with our wallet address. So let's do that real quick. We'll go to the community faucet right here and input our Allura worker address. Paste. Cool, our transaction was submitted successfully and in a few minutes or a few seconds, we should get our Allo to deploy our node. If you wanna see your Allo balance, then you'll have to download a Kepler extension on Google Chrome and then input your private key or seed phrase into Kepler to get your Allo balance for that wallet. We'll also need this once we register successfully and connect to Forge, so let's do it right now. Go to Kepler. Wallet extension. And we will add this to Chrome. 
There we go. Cool. Now, once we have Kepler installed, we will import an existing wallet using the recovery phrase that we have. Get that right here. Pretty sure this is a 24 word phrase. Yep. All right. Create a password, which I will not tell you guys. Boom, we're all set. One more step here that you wanna take is pin your Kepler wallet right here for easy access. Go down to extensions, manage extensions, and let us go here and pin to toolbar. Awesome. Now we have our Kepler wallet easily accessible. So now that we have our wallet set up, we're gonna create our model. So I'm gonna use the Allura MDK for this model because in previous tutorials, I used the basic coin prediction node and went through that flow a lot. So let's go to this Allura MDK repository and clone it for starters. And let's git clone this repository. Boom. Now we're all set, let's CD in. And now we'll go to our documentation that I wrote for this repository and follow some of the steps. We have a set of regression techniques in this rep repository that we can use for any given cryptocurrency we want to target. For this one, we'll use ETHUSD. And I think I'm going to use a simple regression strategy for this and then start tinkering with it after I get it set up. One thing we'll need before we get set up is a Tingo API key. Tingo is a data provider that provides granular data for over 7,000 stocks and cryptocurrencies. So, and the API is free. So I'm going to do that right now. Why not? Log in, I have an account already. And now from here, all you have to do is go to your account, go to your API token and copy that and paste it in your .env file right here. And save it. Next, we're gonna wanna create our environment using Conda. So if you don't have Conda, you want to install it. We'll go brew install mini Conda. Now that we're set up with Conda, let's set up our Conda environment manually. Um, I'm gonna run this command right here to activate the model maker Conda environment. Press yes to all of this. So it seems like our environment spun up successfully. And now we just have to run Conda activate and then install our requirements. I'll run Conda activate model maker. Oh, we're already in it. <laughs> and then I will run my pip install requirements. All right, now my Conda environment is activated and my pip requirements are installed. Life is good. Now we can get to the fun stuff, creating the model. I'm just gonna run a simple command here, make train, and we're gonna start off the training process on the default models that are built here. If you want to find a specific model, all you have to do is go to the models folder, pick out which regression strategy you're going to be using and click the model. For this, we're going to use the regression time series. And in here, we have a sample file that runs a sample model and we can manipulate this in any way we want to create something unique. 
Over here, I'm going to pick Tingo's crypto data, and I'm going to use ETH USD. I'm going to enter a frequency of five min to keep consistent with our epic length. And I'm going to run this for four months. So I'll do four months of training data from 0908. Yeah, that's September 8th to yesterday's date. And I will select a custom selection of models. And the model I would select is regression time series. And now my model training is completed and saved. So before I go into evaluating and deploying your model to the network, I want to show you how you can manipulate this a bit. I want to change the regression strategy in here to gradient boosting because gradient boosting takes a set of prices and buckets them in different categories. It's better at handling psychological price points and barriers, and it's better at identifying them to predict the future price. So let me change this linear regression to gradient boosting regressor and make sure that I imported this at the top, which I did from sklearn.ensemble. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to retrain my model. So every time you make a change to your model, you're going to want to run make train again and retrain it. We are using Tingo crypto data, ETH USD, um, five minute time frame, and for the past four months. So and we will select our regression time series model. Awesome. So after your model is trained, you can run make eval in your command line and get a set of predictions for your model based on the dates you trained it at. I'll trade my models or my model and I'll scroll up to my regression model for time series right here. You get a bunch of outputted data points for the given data set that you trained it on. So start date to end date. All right, let's get this bad boy on the network. First things first, let's run make package and create a package for our model. We will specify the regression strategy to the T, regression time series. And we'll make a package. Once we have our package, we have to download a new repo. It's the Allura worker repository. We'll be able to drag this package into that repo and then run our node. All right, let's clone our Allura worker repo and deploy our node using Docker. I'm going to copy this right here and create a split screen because we'll still need this repo to drag our package in. All right. Uh, I created an Allura worker forge, so I'll open that and paste this command in. Once we have our Allura worker downloaded, we are going to navigate to the package models folder in our Allura model maker, and then copy the package folder into the SRC folder of your Allura worker repository. So let's do that. We'll open this up and we'll find our packaged model. We'll find our package folder here and drag it into our SRC folder. And that is there, awesome. Now let's review the readme of the Allura worker and run the commands to get everything spun up. So we have to create a new virtual environment using Conda for the model worker. Let's do that first. And we're all set and we're inside our model worker environment. Now let's install, install our requirements in SRC. Cool, everything's successfully installed. So let us dig into this a bit. We packaged our model and now all it says to do is select your model and make run. All right, so it seems like our server is running now. And to test this, I'm going to run a CURL command. Copy this over. And 
And I'm going to specify the target variable at the end of the endpoint. So our target variable is ETH. Awesome. We got an inference. This means that our endpoint can be hit by the network and return an inference consistently. Let's now deploy this to the network. Drum roll, please. All right, let's full screen this right here. We don't really need our model maker anymore. Let's open up the example.config.json and copy this over to a config.json. Now that we got a config.json, we're going to fill out these variables that we saved at the beginning of this video. So let's open up our text edit from before, copy over our key name, Forge Wallet. Next, we'll copy over our address. And finally, we copy over the restore mnemonic. That's a tongue twister. Awesome. Now we want to select the topic ID that we're submitting inferences for. For Forge, the ETH five minute price prediction is on topic 15. That's what you're going to want to specify for this. Topic 15. So once your config.json is properly set up, all you have to run is two commands, make node-env and make compose. Once I run these, our Allura node will spin up. So one of the issues with running your node on a Docker container is that the second you shut off your computer, the Docker node stops running too. So one way to solve this is to deploy your worker and your node to a server. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to deploy this node to a server using either AWS, Heroku, Render, Railway. Uh, we'll go through a number of different options for you guys. So stay tuned for that and thanks for tuning in. Bye.